Hey everybody, what's up and welcome back to today's video guys and today guys I'm going to go and be showing you how to sync tempo in GarageBand. This is a very simple thing to do, so make sure to watch this quick and easy video to the very end, follow my steps correctly so you can make sure this works the same for you and you can do this yourself. But yeah guys, let's get straight into it. So the first thing you want to do is to go ahead and open up the official GarageBand application on your mobile phone if you have not already. If you do not have the application, just go to the App Store and download it. And after opening it up, you'll be greeted by this main page right here, which is the home page where you can find all the instruments you can play, you have your audio recorder and so on. So let's go and see how we can get started with syncing the tempo of our track. So the first thing I'm going to do is open up the audio recorder option right here. That's going to open up this new recording menu where at the top of the screen, you'll have this big red circle to enable us to start recording and we can get started doing so. So once you have finished your recordings, you want to go here in the upper left corner, click the button in the middle that's going to open up this edit mode where we can be greeted by this mixing settings right here where you can find all the tracks that we have. As you can see right here, we have the audio recorder and so on. So now guys, all you need to do to be able to sync the tempo of your tracks is to go right here into the upper right corner and click the settings icon. So as you can see guys, once you click on the settings in the upper right corner, it's going to open up this new menu where one of the options is going to be called tempo so you want to set the tempo that you want to use for your tracks so as you can see you have your tempo right here you can go ahead and increase it decrease it and so on do whatever you want after you're finished just go ahead and exit out and it's going to automatically be applied if you want different tempo for different tracks you have to create those tracks in a different project because you cannot sync them with one project they all need to use the same tempo but yeah guys basically that is a how to do it so i hope this video was helpful if it was make sure to leave a like subscribe to the channel see you guys thanks for watching take care and bye